What's going on? So this is probably going to be a video that you guys already know. You already know because you guys are smart. This is the thing is when you actually apply what you're learning, that's when you actually start saying, oh, ha, <laughs> that's what Charles was talking about. Ah, and this is what I'm talking about right now. Something that I learned, I heard about it many years, you know, I already talked about it in the last video. And essentially I am filming this video right after that because I just am alive right now. I have a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, and I'm just on point. So essentially in the last video, I talked about the two voices in your head. And essentially you have not only two voices in your head, but you also have one of the better quotes that Tony Robbins talked to a huge audience, but I felt like he was talking to me in 2009. And essentially in 2009, he talked about that life is made up of small decisions. That's it. Small decisions on when I wake up, do I snooze my alarm? Do I not? When I wake up and I'm ready to get out of bed, do I go on my phone? Is my phone on airplane mode? Is it near me? Is it near my bed? Is my alarm my phone? When I get out of bed, do I meditate, affirm, and do go on the rebounder? Do I, what do I do? Do I journal? Do I go to the gym? Do I not go to the gym? Do I have oatmeal or do I have cereal? When I have lunch, do, everything is made out of decisions. And the reason being is that you don't remember last year what you did at 9 a.m. on this date. However, you will remember the series of events leading up to this year if you're on an upward course. And this is what I'm gonna talk about. So obviously you guys already know that I'm training for an Ironman. It's really hard to be honest. And it really hit yesterday because I did a full day of work. I have a deal that has a $60,000 commission that may not go through. And I had to leave the conversation at 6.30 of trying to piece together this deal, take the subway in 18 degree weather to downtown and go swim, jump in a pool, take out, take off my work clothes and jump into a pool and do 2,000 yards of swimming. That was not easy. There was so many things that went through my mind. I could do this tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it. I'm sore, I'm tired, I'm, ex I'm hungry. I just wanna go home. I wanna go to bed. I don't wanna do this. This is what I'm gonna be talking about. We have two voices. We have the voice of what you want to do and you have the voice of what you don't want to do. And the voice of what you want to do is comfort. The voice of what you don't wanna do is freedom. Freedom comes from doing what you don't wanna do. It's ironic, you already know it and it's nothing new. But the next decision that you need to make where you're flip-flopping between each other, understand this principle, which is if I do what I wanna do, which is stay on my couch, eat like shit, and watch TV, that's comfort. And what you're doing is you're building a surrounding fence of just a completely new way of thinking. And just like myelin, which is the, the soft gray covering over your brain, and essentially myelin gets thicker and it, and it retains itself as you do new things. So they say as old age, they always thought that you just limit your brain power essentially as you age. So if you only golf every once in a while and you get used to golfing, that your brain actually slows down and it does. And, you, and they thought there's no way you can actually reinvigorate your brain until they actually started knowing that myelin in certain people was always thicker as they aged. And the reason being is that they played chess, they did crossword puzzles, they learned a musical instrument, they went traveling, they had new experiences, they learned a new language, whatever the case is, they did something new. And the reason being is that myelin comes from doing things, either practice the same thing over and over and over and over again, where you become a master or you do new things. But the thing is, if you get really comfortable doing the exact same thing, your myelin, your synapses, which are the dendrites that essentially fire together, wire together, they wire together and to break that synaptic connection from comfortability is really, really, really hard. I heard this not too long ago, is that by the age of 32, your music choice will not change on the majority. So in other words, you have the bell curve. So in other words, the, the people in the middle, they will not change their music choice. And I started thinking about that. I'm like, holy shit, I am listening to the same music I listened to when I was 18 years old. That was 15 years ago. I'm still listening to the same music it was 90s because that's what I grew up on. People in their 80s are listening to what they grew up on. And I started thinking about it. I said, holy shit, where else in my life am I doing the exact same thing that I did when I was 18? Being comfortable, staying in comfortability. Next decision, this video is not world permanent, just this video is not gonna just completely change your life. But the smallest decision where you could go one way or the other way, think about, play this out in your mind, please, just please, 
please. Play this out in your mind. It's lunchtime. You could either go for a salad, you could go for something else. Or when you're waking up, do this tomorrow. Don't feel bad about it. But at least just recognize it. That's the first step is just recognizing it. Your alarm goes off. What is the first thing you do? Do you get out of bed? Do you snooze your alarm? When you snooze your alarm, do you go on your phone? Is your phone on airplane mode? Is it right next to you? Can you buy an alarm clock for $10 at CVS? So, it's, so that is your alarm instead of your iPhone. Understand the decisions we make because freedom, I'm telling you right now, I feel it. I can't give you this feeling. I talked about it in yesterday's video. I can't give you this feeling. You can't buy the feeling of achievement. Achievement, physical achievement, especially physical achievement, comes not from Amazon, not from going to the store and getting new kicks or a new phone or a three-day weekend or even the weekend or even the summer or warm weather or the sun. That's all temporary. But if you start layering just a little bit, just a small thing and understanding decision are everything, you have to hold yourself accountable. That's the last thing I'm going to say is that accountability is everything. You're probably like me where you need to put stops in front of your life. Erase all the apps in front of you that are going to distract you. Erase all the things that are just not uh, moving you forward. I, Honestly, this video is really coming down to what you want to do is comfort and what you don't want to do is freedom. And understanding the decision, and there's times where I choose comfort. There's sometimes I choose freedom, but I understand in that moment that I am now in control of that choice. You are in control of that decision. And as Tony Robbins says, I'm gonna wrap it up right now, as Tony Robbins says, is that life comes down to decisions. If you're aware of those decisions, you can make the right decision. Whether it sucks or it doesn't suck. Whether you have to undress from your clothes and jump into a cold pool and do 2,000 yards from seven o'clock to eight o'clock at night when you don't want to, and then you have to wake up the next day and do a 45 minute spin class into a 20 minute run, which I did today, feels damn awesome. I can't give you that feeling. I can't give you that feeling. You can't buy it, it's only earned, and I'll talk about the, the downside of being comfortable. You know, maybe in another video, I'll, I'll touch on it here, is that there is an epidemic of suicide, there's an epidemic of depression. The reason being is that we live in a world that is so easy. It is so easy right now. I'll talk about it on another video. Have an amazing day. Subscribe to the video. Talk to you guys soon.